Make more mm. babies. Mm. Mm. Give me your children. Mm. Is your head spinning too? What's up guys, Lunar here and welcome back to another video. So today we are back on the Criticraft server and last video I believe was actually my first and we created a beef farm. Yeah, I haven't been on to the server for quite a while now and honestly not much has changed. Since no one else is here, we're gonna be, have to be the only people on here, I guess. So anyway, today what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be improving our build from last time. So basically last time's build was, eh, it was okay, it was a cheap an effective one day or like very short farm build but today we're gonna be upgrading that into something that's a lot faster uh not as cheap but there some sacrifices have to be made uh that was a mistake all right it's almost dark so we're gonna find somewhere to sleep and yeah uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow morning all right it's morning um, I'm actually gonna head over- oh, Jesus, what is this? Here lies the brothers that live the short, but free life. Fricky and Bob. What happened to these villager boys? Alright, but- Oh, uh, oh, um, no one saw that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that, and that is mine now. So, oh! <laughs> okay, it looks like Bloop actually did a little bit of work here. Alright, um, he has that ready, but for now, we'll just give this to him as a gift. Like I said, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be improving our old build from here. Doesn't look like much has changed. Okay, yeah. Looks like we should be able to tear this stuff down. Okay, I'll get back to you guys when I tear this entire thing down. Bye bye. Okay, just a quick notice. I won't be uploading as often sometimes now because I do in fact have school, I know it's amazing. But not only that, I do have several activities I actually go to. First is the leadership camp, which I'm staff on. Second, I do have Chinese school and I go to church. And third, I do actually participate in a sport. Yeah, I'm not a fat lazy dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if I insulted some of you guys. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say and see ya. In fact, now that I think about it, I might as well just build it somewhere else. There's this entire thing down here, which I can probably just use here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably just gonna use this area because it's cut out too and I don't really want to break anything else over there. So, enter time-lapse mode. Uh, again. And once again, I'm asking for you guys' help, so I actually don't have too many ideas on my own about what I want to do on my channel, so sometimes I feel like, I don't know, I might be copying some other people and it just doesn't feel right doing ununique content, so... Really, I need you guys to tell me what you guys want to see, because if you guys do that, then maybe you'll actually watch my videos for longer. Currently, I think the longest people actually watch my videos is 7 minutes and all. That's like a 30 minute long video. But yeah, give me your ideas of what you want to see in my videos, and I might actually include those, because I need ideas. I'm losing my mind right now, trying to do an entire channel on my own. Gee, okay. Back to the video. Alright, so the way this should go is we have our chest about here. All right, and these three blocks will be our hoppers. Boom, bam, and bop. And then on top of that, we're gonna take our observer, place it like so. In front of that, we'll have a butt hound. I obviously didn't know what I was doing, so I went out and researched another video. Okay. So apparently the reason that didn't work was something about this. Call it lazy editing. It's like 10 o'clock for me right now and I have school tomorrow. So let's try that again. Now now that I think about it though, it probably shouldn't work like that anyway. Yeah, because I don't I don't need the top on the fire because of that. So basically now what I have to do is put that like so. And then I do not have glass right now, so I won't be able to do that. But everything else is here. Alright. So we're gonna have to build up like that. So like this, we'll have glass in all of this area. So like in a U shape and underpants. Uh, but then we need to put something on the top to make sure that they don't escape. All right, before that though, let's fill these up with whatever we need. And up here's a water bucket. 
And that actually should be most of the build done. Alright, uh, let's grab these trapdoors. One on the bottom of each. And on the top. I believe the way they built it was they had block and like so. Keep in mind guys, this is not my build. This is actually designed by someone else. It's kind of obvious because I'm not exactly the biggest redstone genius. I will put the link to this farm in the description. What? You thought I was smart enough to do something like this? But if I made this correctly, yes. Perfect. Alright. So basically, whenever I redstone activate this, this will actually turn on. Hopefully. So, what we're gonna do is this is most of the build, actually. Yeah, let me go ahead and make some slabs. Okay, so these are all the slabs I need, and basically I'm gonna be using these slabs... Uh, sorry. I'm gonna be using these slabs to cover the top. Like so. And then now the most difficult part's actually gonna be to get the cows in here because i'm gonna have to fill in the rest of this area as well uh just to make it of course look more authentic why did i mm. all right but yeah just need to fill all of this in and we're actually going to steal the use of whoops bed it's actually <laughs> it's been quite a while since i've actually slept in my own bed what am i doing i'm like the bed thief all right up oh. hold up did I, did I just get kicked for sleeping? Um, I, I, I'll get back to you on that. Okay, turns out what happened was my Wi-Fi turned off because I am on a schedule for some reason. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and steal Loop's bed again. And we're gonna go ahead and finish up this build. First things first, I do have most of what I need, but I do need a tiny bit of sand to get this to work. So if I can remember math properly, <laughs> U shape, uh, that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so it's the same amount of sand as uh, it takes to make a pants. Gee, stop it, dude. That didn't want to do that, but you forced me to end. Nice waterfall. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make it look more uh, normal, I guess. And if we actually get a little coal, we can actually repay. Vloop for me using his furnace. Uh, I'm sorry Vloop if you're watching this, I have been using your base more often than not. And that's not really nice because considering it's actually- it's, it says right here, it's your base. But, um, a lot of things I'm working on is right here, so, it's very- it's- it's easier for me to use your base, okay. Uh, that's his stuff, I think. I think so, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll use one coal here to smell all that I believe I'll need two coal to smell this so both of these are mine I do have enough coal in there to not be using any of his reserves I am sorry for using your stuff okay while we're waiting though let's prepare our two levers and now it is time for you knew it furnace time Oh look, it's done. Alright, but aside from that, let's get over here and let's fill this in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can't even see it, that's kind of creepy. So basically the way that this is supposed to get out of here. The way this is supposed to work is... See? Um, yeah, there's a lava blade and I might end up using... I might end up using stone uh, buttons just because they actually release faster. So, we're actually, yeah, we're gonna stick with that. Um, even though the actual recipe and the way you're supposed to build this calls for a wood one, I think that's gonna work fine. Uh, aside from that, what we're gonna do is, I believe I made two. Unless they fell out or something, doesn't matter. 
Uh, we'll make two more then. We'll make two levers. Like so. And we'll put them on either side. So, that closes this. And then, over here, we put this button. And that fills that with water. Okay, so that's how we're actually gonna get the cows to breed. So now comes the dangerous part. We're gonna have to figure out how to transport them all. Uh, I think the best form we can right now is just literally to drag them one by one. How many cows is there anyway? Okay, let's check the entity count. I'm not too sure about how entity is work, but it looks like it's about 20-ish. Okay, that's actually perfect. Um, okay, let me, just in case they try to escape though, let's make sure they can't. They will only be able to come out if I let them. No other way, so. We'll, we'll build. Boom. Alright. Now we shall unleash the cows. Oh, okay. Take two for now. Follow me, brethren. Yes. We shall follow. And if you try to escape, I will murder you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Okay. So now, just drag them over. And drag them over. And drag. Come on, get in there, get in there. Okay, there's one down. And there's... Uh, get in there, dude. Gilbert, get in there. Thank you. Okay, now do that like 10 more times. Alright, uh, looks like it's almost gonna be night again, and it looks like that's actually all our cows, so unfortunately we do only have six cows, so I want at least 20, so what I'm gonna have to do is either go out in search of cows, or I'm just gonna have to breed them. I'm sorry Vlupine, still sleeping in your bed. Now I think about probably the best way to go with this is actually just to breed them. So let's actually take some of Luke's crops. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are gonna be blasting me about stealing all this stuff, but I promise it, it's it's a renewable source of energy. They'll be fine. But let me think. Okay, so if I if I um, feed them once, they'll be at about twelve. So if I feed them twice in all, should be just about enough to. Uh, fully feed them. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Um, now, press that button. Let's take that out. It's kind of annoying. And we should be able to just right click. So once I get down to eight, eight wheat, that means that everyone's been fed. Alright. So that's one of the sets and now I just have to do it one more time after waiting a little bit. But as like before, what we're going to be doing is we need some way of showing that this is an official um, lunar loop thing. Hmm. Maybe we'll just have to go with that. But since we do have two, this will be perfect. Boom. And Bye. Alright, give it a little bit of time, let them grow again, and I'll come back to you guys when I can feed them. After about 20 minutes of Ave King. Alright, I'm back. So I'm gonna grab my stuff now, and we're gonna head back and hope that me Ave King for like 20 minutes is enough for everything to reset. Let me put this on. Alright. Uh, let me head down here to just check. Uh... 
<laughs> They're still children. Hmm. That may be a problem. Oh, well, I guess we'll just do this, I guess. It's fine. Even if not all of them have been born yet, at the very least I can get some more babies. Make mm. big ass boys. Make more babies. Okay. Don't make more. Make more babies! Give me your children. Oh, I'm feeding the babies right now. That's fine. Alright, I'll let these guys grow up and basically how it's gonna work is after they're gonna grow up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these levers and once I do that, then these babies, new babies that are born are gonna fall to the other side. And whenever I want, I can just press this, turn on lava, turns off, and it kills the adults. Or, if I want to use this as an XP thing, I can always just hit them from either side. But yeah! Oh, uh, Jesus. No. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Um, This is just a really short video because I don't want to spend too much time on this. I haven't uploaded recently, so this is just a quick fill-up episode before I can get some more work in. Either next week or the week after that, I probably won't be able to make one next week because I do have a trip to treat. Which means I won't be able to make one because I'll be out for the entire weekend. But yeah, thanks guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Actually, hold up guys, Um, there's one more thing I need to ask guys. Please hit that like button and subscribe button if you're at all new to this channel, or just enjoy this content. Um, because this is a hobby that I have, and I really enjoy doing it just on its own. But it just becomes so much more when I can make other people smile and have fun while they're watching my videos. So yeah, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.